need to moisten the soil with water just enough so that it holds together but doesn't stick to your hand. The first manipulation is to see if you can make a ball. If when you put it down it holds its shape, it will continue. If not, you've got sand. If your ball holds its shape, you can move to step two, which is to roll it out into a cylinder approximately five centimetres or a hand's width long. If you can't get it to this length, then you have loamy sand. If you can, continue to step three, which is to roll it out to approximately 15 centimetres, just past two hands breadths. In this case, it won't roll out any further, so we have sandy loam. Let's try again with another kind of soil. In this case, we've managed to get a three centimetre ball, so it's not sand. We've got to five centimetres, it's not loamy sand. We can continue rolling this out to a full 15 centimetres, so we don't have sandy loam. We can form it into a semicircle. If we couldn't make a semicircle, we would have loam. We can form this round completely into a circle so we know we have a clay. We can also look at the surface texture. If there are cracks, then we have a light clay. If there are no cracks, then we have a full clay. In fact, clay is so malleable, you can make pretty much anything with it.